Hello friends, welcome to another chapter of Julia programming language. In this chapter you will learn how to run Julia using command line interface. Now when you will run Julia using command line interface, first of all let's run cmd and in cmd type Julia. So you can see Julia is not recognized as an internal or external command. Now you can see that uh, when you will type Julia after installing it, so you will see this uh, Julia REPL which is uh, read, eval, print and loop. So Julia comes with a full featured interactive command line REPL which is built into the Julia executable which that means when you default, uh, when you download the default executable file of Julia and install it in your computer, so you will see that. Now, suppose we have to get rid of this method or get rid of this message, Julia is not recognized as an internal or external command. So, for that, what you have to do is first you have to reach the directory in your in which your Julia files are installed. So, in my case, it is uh, data science app data local programs Julia 1.5.2 and bin. If you are unable to find this, so what you can do here, simply go with Julia and open file location. You will see these programs. Right click on this and open file locations and you will reach here. Simply uh, click here and copy this. When you will copy this, now the next thing that you have to do is you have to go to you have to open system environment variables. Now system environment variables helps uh, locating a program path. It helps in locating a program path. So you can see here we have path written here. As you can see, there are two type of uh, variables. One is for user and second is for system. So when you run command this, uh, when you run command line interface or when you run CMD uh, using user privilege, so in that case you will need these user variables. You can also run CMD using administrative privilege so you can type cmd and you can run as administrator so in that case you can see we have a uh, we can run this as system 32 or administrator so but currently we are running it as a user as this user named data science so we are going to edit some variables here click on edit so click on path and you can see we have these variables so I, I have already added a path for python now here I will simply paste the path for Julia and click ok once again click ok and this way now I have uh, kind of told my CMD that where Julia is installed. I will close it. I will run CMD once again. Here I will type Julia. And now you can see uh, we can now run Julia using the command line interface. So this was a very simple demonstration. This helps a lot in installing packages and doing various stuff. And we don't have to run this. As you can see the installation process of some packages is going on. So I will not uh, I will not interrupt it. So this is one another way of running Julia using the command line interface. I hope you have understood the concept. Thanks for watching this. We will see you in the next video.